Today I want to take a look at and demonstrate the Norelco N2500 cassette player deck from 1968. There was also a Philips N2500 and they were the first stereo cassette decks and an improvement from Monoral. We'll take a look at the announcement and specifications of those here. Here's the Billboard magazine from June 22nd, 1968, where it uh, gives a little brief talk about this. An important first developed by Norelco is the 2500, a stereo cassette playback deck, providing complete compatibility with existing sound systems. Uppermost is the development of a special new synchronous motor for increased reliability and speed control. The heart of the deck operation. The new motor is extremely compact and represents a major forward step in reducing size. The AC unit weighs two and three quarters pounds and measures eight by four and a half by two and a quarter inches. The 2500 has a single selector control switch for play, stop, fast forward, and rewind, as well as cassette ejector and on off push buttons. A heavy duty clear acrylic dust cover protects the cassette assembly. Playback is through stereo or mono amplifiers with loudspeakers or via radio or high fidelity system. The 2500 sells for about $60. This is not a very large deck. Here's a comparable carry quarter 150 from 1968 as well. Carry quarter 150 is much heavier, at least a pound and a half. And the 2500 is a little bigger in just about every dimension. Has a nice acrylic cover. not many controls an on and off button and a function switch play rewind stop fast forward On off and a uh, cassette eject. And that's it. I'm turning it over and looking at the bottom. Got the nice walnut case. Made it looks like in the fifth week of 1968. Looks like it might have been used in Los Angeles for a while. Some cord burns on the bottom. And it comes with RCA phono plugs for your stereo. That's kind of ironic that all the time I have these European DIN connectors that are hard to plug into my stereo system. And now that I have a stereo system that uses European DIN connectors, I get a cassette player with phono plug connectors, and I still had to get an adapter cable. Kind of ironic. Of course, like every other Philips and Norelco cassette recorder from that era, it needed maintenance when I got it, so I'll insert some uh, maintenance video in there right now. All right, getting my first look inside the Norelco N2500 cassette player stereo deck. You have to take out four screws. Pull the beam switch off the front. It means the belt. It's the main belt. Looks like there's some old belt on the belt brush too. Lifting the other side out of the top. I 
have some uh, additional screws down here that look like they'll be needed to be removed to get to the flywheel plate. There's the rewind fast forward belt down there. Which goes to the other side over here, I guess. Looks like the wind and rewind belt is. All right, for our demonstration, we're gonna keep it authentic. We're going to use the 2500 from 1968 with the stereo Norelco stereo receiver from 1968 and two Norelco speakers that go with it. We're also going to use a period appropriate cassette. And we'll show you how we have this hooked up back here. That's the uh, European DIN input for the tape recorder and pickup uh, with some phono jack patch cords. So we're hooked up to the back of the cassette recorder with that. Pressing pickup, turn our stereo on. Press the power, the 2500. Just a quick demonstration of the N2500, but it kind of raises a question which is going to lead to my next video, which will come up very shortly. When they're selling portables, like the Carry Quarter 150, it's kind of easy to demonstrate them in the stores, the camera stores and the jewelry stores where those were sold a long time ago, but not so easy to demonstrate something that needed to be hooked up to an amplifier. But they had a solution for that. And as I uh, sign off here, I'm going to show you a little bit of the next video that's coming up to show how the retailers and Philips and Norelco solved the problem. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye. And here's the Norelco cassette demonstrator for use by retailers help show off the 2500 that required AC and amplifier and stereo speakers. So we'll be looking at this in the next video.